Hey guys, it's Ruba. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about something super, super exciting. Um, so I'm going to be talking about how I liked Orange Theory Fitness and if I think it's worth it. So if you are interested, just stay tuned. Okay guys, so I had the opportunity to try a week of classes at Orange Theory Fitness and so I'm going to kind of explain um, what Orange Theory Fitness is and like what the workouts are like for those of you who are not familiar. Um, but you can just skip forward if you already kind of know like the um, idea behind it and then if I think it's worth it, um, especially for the money and I'll kind of go over how much it costs at least in North Carolina to be a member of Orange Theory. Fitness. So Orange Theory Fitness is based kind of behind the idea of um, high intensity interval training which pretty much just means that you're doing really high intensity exercises and then like a period of exercises that aren't as high intensity um, and then going back into the high intensity so it's like keep switching up the um, intensity that you're working out at which means that your body just like doesn't get used to it and it keeps having to like work harder um, and then it also helps to burn more like fat and like calories and all of that but for Orange Theory Fitness they um, do it through your heart rate so you have a heart rate monitor and you use the heart rate monitor to pretty much like every single workout and you use that to calculate your heart rate. So with the Orange Theory workouts there are five zones so there's the gray zone, the blue zone, the green zone, the orange zone and the red zone. So the orange and the red zone are the ones where you're working at a lot higher of an intensity. So that would be 84 um, to 91% of your max heart rate. So Orange Theory wants you to be in the orange or red zone for at least 12 minutes of your workout. And they say that if you're there, if you're in the orange or red zone for at least 12 minutes of the workout, that that means that you're gonna be burning calories for 36 hours after you're done with your workout. So that's what they call like splat points if you guys have heard of those. So one minute in either the orange or red zone counts as one splat point. So that's why people are like trying to get as many splat points as possible because when your heart rate is working at that intense of a state, um, then you can keep burning calories throughout the day, which is really awesome, especially if you are trying to um, lose weight or get more fit and all of that. So another question that one of my friends asked me is how do they calculate like your heart rate? So how they do it is when you first go in, they just calculate it based off of like your height, your um, weight, your like age range, and there's like an average. But once you've been to 10 classes, they actually like have this like algorithm or like formula that helps to calculate your optimal heart rate. So I think that's really cool. And so that way it's even more like cater to your body, which I think that's awesome. So another great thing that people like about Orange Theory is that you don't know what workout you're gonna get until you actually go there and so people like that because it's like kind of a surprise and also they change their workouts up a lot so you really never know what you're gonna get which is really cool and then they have three like main workouts or like types of workouts that they do so most all of the workouts have a treadmill component um, and you can kind of pick either if you're gonna walk jog or run um, with that and they kind of like explain to you um, but it's more based off of how hard you want to work in your fitness level so that's really great that you have the option to like walk versus um, be part of the running group and then there is typically a rowing component um, which is just a rowing machine and then the last is the weight floor which is either like body weight exercises or resistance exercises with like weights and bands and stuff and so those are like the three main things that you're going to be doing regardless of your workout. So the first type of workout that I kind of mentioned is the strength workout. So for your like strength days or the strength workouts, it's typically incline on the treadmill and then on the weight floor it's usually low reps and high weight. So it's really trying to work that muscle out. In my opinion, those are a little bit easier just for me because I have lifted weights previously and so I just am more used to that and so for me sometimes the harder days are the endurance and power days but um, getting into that the next type of day is the endurance day which 
that's just on the treadmill it's, you're trying to keep your same pace or same speed for a longer period of time to build your endurance and then in the weight section or the floor it's more high reps and lower weight and so that almost is like harder for me just because it's like you have to really like be able to sustain your weight and then in terms of the treadmill you have to be able to run or walk or jog for a longer period of time and so I definitely struggle a little bit more with that and then the third um, and last type of like day or workout is the power and that's kind of like you're all out so with on the treadmill you're you're gonna be like running at your fastest speed um, and all of that and then on the weight floor you are doing more like explosive movement so more like burpees and jump squats and all of that and so that's definitely difficult to and really can challenge your body in different ways another great thing that I like about Orange Theory is that uh, they often have like partner workouts and so you're like you have a partner and then they do like part of the workout when you do the other and then you kind of switch um, or something similar just to kind of like incorporate another person into your workout and I think that's really cool too because it definitely is a huge motivating factor especially for people who like don't love working out it's a lot easier to do it when someone else is like counting on you um, and all of that and so that's definitely a great thing about orange theory as well and I probably should have mentioned this earlier but each class is an hour long and then obviously you're in a room with however other many people who are taking the class so you're not like it's not just you and like some the coach it's you and the coach and then all the other people who are in the class as well and so that's really nice like I said earlier because you do have that like motivating factor of everyone around you is doing the same exercise so it kind of makes it easier for you to keep going and like the atmosphere is nice it's like loud music and the coaches definitely are very motivating and like pump you up which is awesome so getting into pricing um, where I live the unlimited pass per month so this is like you can go um, into any classes anytime in the month is a hundred and sixty nine dollars and then the classes for like going two times a week is ninety nine dollars for the whole month and so I think that is like pretty expensive and definitely something that not everyone can afford and then another thing is is that you have to either borrow or like rent out the heart rate monitor which is ten dollars um, or you can purchase it for a hundred dollars and you have to use that specific like orange theory fitness one um, and so that can get really expensive especially if you're like thinking about joining and so and you want to do unlimited that's like hundred sixty nine dollars for the unlimited classes and then it's an extra hundred dollars to like initially buy um, your heart rate monitor and so that's a lot of money and I know that's definitely like one of the negative um, aspects for me about Orange Theory Fitness because as you guys know I'm a student I definitely can't afford like hundred and sixty nine dollars a month um, and I know some of my friends who do go to Orange Theory Fitness like in my physical therapy program like have to work like a little literally like a little job to be able to afford it and so definitely not something that um, is for everyone. I think another downside about Orange Theory for me is even if you get the unlimited, I think sometimes, and this is just my personal opinion and all of that, but I think sometimes that those types of workouts can be a lot for your body, um, especially like being on the treadmill and all of that. And so I even talked to one of my friends who like goes to Orange Theory Fitness and has been for like a year or so now and she even said that she can't do more than like three days before she needs a break and so for someone who and she's very very fit but so like if you go like two times um, in a week or like three times in a week but then the other days you also want to do a different workout that's not Orange Theory Fitness then you still have to have like another gym to be able to go to or workout equipment at home and so I'm sure that that can get even more expensive if you do decide that you like you know you want to do a different workout to a different day and not Orange Theory Fitness because it might be too intense for that day so that's definitely a downside and then I've kind of already touched on like the positives but it's a group workout so that that's nice um, you have like a motivating coach which a lot of people need that like extra motivation and someone to kind of push you so that's nice it really does 
seem to work for a lot of people. So the high intensity interval training and like the theory behind Orange Theory um, really does work a lot for people. And I know a lot of people have lost a ton of weight from it or like have gotten really in shape. And so that's really positive. Kind of already touched on this, but I think it's awesome that they change their workouts all the time because then your body doesn't get used to it. And it's great that it's high intensity um, because I know sometimes I don't push myself hard enough to get my heart rate at the point where it would be at the orange or red zones and so I'm not working out to like my potential I guess and so I think those are all positives and it definitely is a great option for um, those that like a group setting but a huge negative for me is the pricing of the classes and I kind of understand like why it's so expensive but I just know that that's not like accessible to everyone. So all in all, I do recommend Orange Theory Fitness in terms of a workout class, but I more so recommend, I think, like the idea behind Orange Theory. So even if you're not able to afford the class, that's okay, but I think it's really great to incorporate some of their ideas into your own workouts. Um, if you guys want a video about like how to incorporate their ideas into your own workouts, I would love to make that. But, but like for me, I know since trying Orange Theory, um, I have my Apple Watch, which calculates my heart rate. And so I'll even use that during my workouts when I'm doing more like high intensity stuff to make sure I'm getting into those higher heart rates and what would be in Orange Theory, the um, red and orange zones. But like I said, I think it isn't too hard to incorporate their ideas into it and that's personally what I do versus actually having a membership because I personally can't afford $169 a month and I'm sure a lot of you guys probably can't either um, but I don't know like it's definitely something that maybe down the line once I have a job and an income that I would be willing to do. One thing is is like regardless of if I do Orange Theory Fitness like in the future when I do have my own career I probably would always want a membership to a different gym or equipment just so I could also work out on my free time because sometimes it's great to have, you know, those group classes, but personally for me, sometimes I also like working out by myself and so that's just something to consider as well. All right, guys, so I know that was so much information, but I really did want to like share my experience about Orange Theory Fitness and how I liked it and all of that. And so I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I'll be sure to link their website down below in case you do want to check it out and read more about it. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask them. I would be so happy to answer them. And like always, I will post my Instagram right here, somewhere over here, for you guys to follow me if you want. I try to post pretty often. And then also, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.